The last time on Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm just imagining the tree that grows bombs though, and that's kind of terrifying. What if like a, you know, apples fall off trees? What if like a bomb fell off a tree and just exploded? I probably would not be hanging out in the forest too often if that was the case. I feel like if I shout hip hep hoop, it helps me out. Uh, case in point right here, I caught two dragonflies in one swoop. Wow, that's a new record. So I'm sure this bird doesn't even see me coming. He's just taking a nap, thinking about his wife and kids, and oh boy, those are the last thoughts this little bird's gonna think. Okay, is, is that mean? Is that mean to say? It's, uh, I don't know. Am I a bad guy? Oh, just give me a second. There we go. Nice. All right, we killed two birds. All right, hello. Welcome back, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We're still here in the desert, the L Lanayru Desert, I think it's called. I, I'm not good with names. Um, I am slowly making my way... Oh, I think it blew up on me. I'm slowly making my way over to this door. Uh, having some progress so far, thankfully. Haven't died yet. First try. There we go. Nice. All right. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important. Um, yeah, still working my way through the desert here. Trying to get to the next temple. Oh. The Temple of Time. There it is. That that was pretty easy. I thought that would take more time, but no. Nope. Lo and behold, here I am. Maybe I missed some stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to save the game just because that's always a good idea. Yes, let's save that. Um, save. Um, at the time of recording this, the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is not out yet. Um, so please let me know down in the comments if, if you have played it, how you like it. Um, if you haven't played it, how you like it. Just make something up. Just just be creative. Um, see if you can uh, just predict what the game's about. That'd be, I'm interested to see that. I'm also interested to see if I remember how to do this correctly. I That seemed to do it. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, the little bridge came back. And some enemies. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to dispatch this guy. He's not even looking. Bam. Easy. Easy peasy, as they say. Sometimes you might—I might even dare to say lemon squeezy. Um, although there are no lemons here at the moment, so the lemons will have to come later. Okay, there's there seems to be a big stone in that tree trunk in there. I don't know if you can see that glow, but I think that's going to come into play a little bit later. Right, let me see what this guy up here does, if I can even reach it. Uh huh. Are you gonna are you gonna help me with my easy peasy lemon squeezy run here? Oh, the other one disappeared. Do you see that? Hmm, I don't think that helps me right now. Oh yes, that that one did disappear. Okay, well, that's not quite what I wanted. I kinda wanted to go this way. Okay, maybe it's not so easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me take a look around here. Here? Oh, maybe? Yeah? Oh, I think I found it, maybe. Or I at least opened the door. Okay, progress. Um, let me see. Can I somehow activate this stone with the bug? I've been taking a look around. I'm thinking this is the only way to do it. Can I can I fly in here? No. What about up above? Let me see. Oh, this looks this looks promising. Dang it! Dang it! Come on! Oh, it was right there. <laughs> okay, we're trying again. The mango. Here we go. Ah! Oh. There's got to be a way to do this. Oh. Oh, here we go. I didn't notice. I think this is a bomb. I think I need the bomb. There we go. All right. So I can't fly the beetle down the tree trunk. I have to drop the bomb down the tree trunk. That makes a little more sense than trying to dive bomb into the trunk. All right, bombs away. There we go. Yeah, that's like a bigger crystal. Is it gonna give me like a lot of a lot of space? Oh, the trees are nice. Not a ton of space, but I'll take the trees. You know what? That's that's very nice. I like that. Oh, oh I do not like this. No, no, no. Get out of here. Whew. Yikes. All right. I wasn't aware that this was such a, a dangerous train track. What is this thing? Huh. I picked up a flower of some kind. That's nice. All right. 
Um, this is the temple, and that is something that wants to kill me. I don't have a shield to throw things back at it, so that's going to be annoying. Hey, man, can I take cover behind you real quick? Maybe give you a little chat? How you doing? Gorko. Oh, good to see you, bud. Looks like you pop up everywhere, though I'm one to talk. Yeah, I, I saw you in the, the first forest, I believe. Forgot the name already. Uh, anyway, bud, is there something I, there's something I'm dying to tell you. It's the discovery of a century. Whoa. Uh, this is a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. All right, I could not believe my eyes when I saw a human who lives on the legendary Isle of the Goddess. It wore clothes just like the ones written about in the ancient manuscripts. And it looked just like you, bud. Oh, well, aren't I so special? Uh, it came with another person. And they entered the temple. I wanted to chase after them. But there was an explosion all of a sudden. And the entrance, well, you can see for yourself, bud. I don't think we're getting past this mess. I wish I could find out what's happening on the other side. There was an explosion. Who's who's blowing up this archaeological monument here? That's a crime. Indiana Jones would have words to say about that. Um, okay, so explosion can't get in there. I do notice there is some potential paths this way that could be of use to me. So let's try to see if I can uh, activate the stone here. And I do see there's a goddess cube up there too. Maybe I can grab that while on my journey here. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see if I. Okay. Operation. Oh. Oh, there's a. There's a little dude here. I didn't even notice. He's he's blocking. He's blocking the way. That's unfortunate. Uh, which means I cannot. Easy peasy lemon squeezy my way up there. That's. Not cool. Okay. Is there? I see. There's a bomb on this cactus here. Hold on. Can I use I I don't want to blow up the little dude, but do I have to blow up the little dude on the tracks with this guy? Is that something I gotta do? Let's start with these rocks up here. They look questionable. Let's try this. What? Huh? Oh. There we go. I think that's what I need. Alright, let's try one more. Let's just see what the other rock holds. Just for funsies. Right? We're all about having fun here at the Drummer Chris 737 channel. Uh <laughs> I think that's what we're all about. I don't really have a mission or like a, a mission statement, you know, like if you go to like, I don't know, some corporate place like, oh, our mission is to uh, make money. Just make lots of money. Doesn't matter how, just make money, money. Um, that's not my mission statement. Um, my nine or so years on YouTube has made me diddly squat. But hey, I'm not in it for the money. I'm just in it um, to get hit by this guy. Oh jeez! Oh, I can't! I can't mess up. Otherwise, he'll electrocute me. That's not cool. Um, yeah, I just I'm doing YouTube for that guy right there. That's the only only thing. Uh, he says, "Help, Zert." Zert. Oh, there's more. Oops. There we go. Bam. All right. Oh, we got a little heart for that too. Hey, can you can you get out of the way, please? That was scary. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the Sacred Gate of Time. Oh my god. I like the naming convention. We, we got a theme going on here. Made by the Goddess. Uh, it's my job to patrol outside the temple. Vroom. <laughs> if you want to reach the Gate of Time, you will need to pass through that door. Bazap. Huh? You need another way in? Poo weep. Hey, that's what the little dudes at the forest were saying. Poo weep. Uh, well, the neighbor mining facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. There's always an underground tunnel. Uh, the neighbor mining facility is right here. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, this map, it looks inaccurate. I'm going to fix it for you. Thanks. Okay, he put a little X on our map for us so we can check it out. Oh, and he, he got out his green crayon and colored it in for us too. That's nice. Uh, the neighbor mining facility is just ahead. Good luck, Bert. All right, thanks, man. Oh, they got like a little wheel. I didn't even notice. That's, that's cute. Mm, fee, a report. <laughs> Let's see what this is. A report, Master Big L. The map you possess corresponds to the actual terrain of this area with only 35% accuracy. It seems someone has taken a green crayon and drawn on it. Let me fix that for you. Just start spitting on it, wiping the crayon away. <laughs> 
The robot you met earlier modified your map to show its past terrain that is now submerged below the sink, sink sand. Sink sand. That'd be a good song name, don't you think? Hey, what's up? This is our song, Sink Sand. <laughs> Sing along if you know the words. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think it's a hardcore, like, punk rock song, you know? That's, that's the vibe I'm getting off of it. All right, so we made it two feet, and then we had to activate this, and now we can go a few more feet. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. All right, can I jump out here? Can I? Nope, I cannot. I, I tried. I mashed all the buttons. Did not go well. Like, can I bring out... Let's try another thing. Can I bring out my sword and do this? Here we go. This is what I need to do. <laughs> nice. First try. You know. Just, just let me have it, please. Please don't. Please don't go in the comments and be like, Chris, that was your second try. You're lying to us. I'm going to unsubscribe because you're a big fat liar. I mean... I can't, I can't tell you what to do. I mean, I can try, but it's not going to be very successful. I mean, if that's how you feel, I respect that. Um, I apologize. I think apologizing is the right thing to do there. Um, but I hope that this is all just a big overreaction and you're not actually unsubscribed because, boy, my ego could not take it. Um, <laughs> very, very fragile. What, what's in this thing? What's in this cape here? I just want to check it out real quick. Might have to backtrack. Okay, wait, where am I? Is there a map? Do I have a map? Where's that? I don't even know where my map is. Nope, oh, that's Fee. Um, thank you for for being there. Um, that's not quite what I was looking for. I know I have a map. Some there it is. Jeez, me. I know how to play video games. Okay, so I'm back in here. Uh, let me go back just real quick because I saw there was another route there. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything critical. Um, this guy's gonna shoot me with his stuff. I'm gonna try to take cover here. Let me activate this rock bam there we go and now I can go this way this is where I kind of got confused before but I can go across here and kill that guy I, do I need to go this way I don't think I need to go this way this seems just like a, a shortcut to get back over there without having to go through all that I don't think, I think I'm good. I don't think I need to go that way. Okay, I'm just gonna say I'm okay. There we go. That, that's a lyric from the new hit single, Sick, Sink Sand, for <laughs> my, my new band. I'm just gonna say it's okay. You know, that's, that's gonna be part of the chorus. All right, we got a bomb and we got a bird. I think I know the combination that has to happen here. We got a bomb the bird, or BB as I like to call it. If any of you ever watched my playthrough of Death Stranding, you might know the, the phrase BB. You might have thought it was referring to that baby in the container, but no, it actually stands for Bomb the Bird. It was a fortune telling. It was telling the future of this moment right here where I play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and I have to bomb birds. You know? Yeah, one thing about the Drummer Chris 737 gaming channel. Um, Fee, now is not the time. I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to sell my channel. <laughs> uh, my train of thought is gone. What, what do you want, Fee? Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, my, my big joke was about the <laughs> my Dark Chris 77 gaming channel is that all my Let's Plays are interlinked story-wise. You may not think so. You just have to, you have to look for it with a fine-tooth comb. And I gave you a big hint about how Death Stranding is attached to... <laughs> Skyward Sword. Now back to Fee here. Master Big O, I have information to report. It, it appears your boots are filling with sand and you're going to perish soon in the sink sand. Also, have you heard the new hit single Sink Sand by Drummer Chris 737? Gotta say I'm okay. You know that one? Uh, I can confirm that you will not be consumed by the sink sand in this current position. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. You could have told me after I got to, you know, Solid land. I suggest verifying your location on the map. <sighs> oh, I see there's like roads. Okay. Also, like Death Stranding, there's roads in that game. You see the connections? Yeah. yeah another big hint for you. See if you can find the other connections in my other Let's Plays. <laughs> I'm just imagining somebody like takes a really deep dive, watches like all oh, like 600 of my videos, which I do not recommend. Some of them are pretty cringy. Um, and just like makes like a story, like a chat GPT story about how they're all connected. Maybe do that. Instead of watching 600 videos, just go to the chat GBT and have it make a story. That sounds like a lot. Well, maybe I should just do that. 
Nah, I'm gonna forget in a few minutes anyway. Our readings indicate that there is a submerged path beneath the sink sand. It is possible to walk along the route above this path without submerging completely into the sink sand. Simulations suggest, suggest that placing beacons to mark a safe route along this path before proceeding would significantly reduce risk. Oh, good. I recommend placing multiple beacons. Okay. So I noticed there's the darker gray road, and then there's also like the light gray road, which... Is that good or is it bad? I, I'm not sure. Um, let's try, because the X is over here. Let's try making it to this point. And let's see if we can get, let's see, the gray starts there. So I'm gonna put that there. And we're gonna, we're gonna go there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Okay, I think I, I'm good. I didn't know I could place multiple beacons like that. All right, so we're going forward. We need to turn to the right. Oh, I see the, the, the lighter gray is probably stuff that's already above ground. Okay, so this is safe as long as I follow this. Yeah. Cool. I hope nothing's around here is going to kill me. Oh, there is another bird here. Hold on. Let's, it's time to break out the BB. Uh, not, not the little BB gun that you played with as a kid and shot your friend's eye out. Um, the bombing the bird is what I meant. This is what I meant by that. You, you ever play with BB guns as a kid? Growing up, they're not really a thing these days, I don't think. But like they were when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to have one um, because one of my friends' dad only had one eye because he had his eye shot out as a kid from a BB gun. And my parents were like, nope, that's we're not doing that. We're not playing that game. My son's not gonna have BB guns. Um, so I didn't, I never owned one, but my other friends who didn't have dads with missing eyes um, had BB guns. So I got to play with those sometimes. Um, but you know, never, never got to hone my, my skills. I always got, I always got beat up pretty good in those BB gun fights. Um, then it turned into Nerf gun fights as, as time went on and Nerf guns had fewer, fewer accidents with losses of limbs and organs and things like that. Um, although I do have a friend who broke his arm playing Nerf, Nerf guns with us. Uh, <laughs> so still, still dangerous. He was, he was jumping over a couch. After we had one rule, we had one rule that day, and it wasn't jump over, it was do not jump over the furniture, and he jumped over the couch and broke his arm, and had to call his mom to take him to the hospital. Uh, yeah, I think this was in college, too. Like, we weren't kids, like, this was, like, college, <laughs> college age. It was probably either senior year of high school or first year of college. So, you know, we were, like, 18, 19, we knew, we knew better, but, oh, boy. He, he was going he was gonna go hard or go home and he went hard and went to the hospital and then went home so he kind of hit the, the trifecta there we didn't even know you could hit the trifecta but he found it um, what do I do here I the X marks the spot here although I suspect I need to turn back time but I'm not seeing stones I'm maybe the stones are under these rocks which means I need to find a bomb and there's a bomb down there can I? kind of get that. Let me reset my gyro. Here we go. Go down here, try to pick up a bomb, and bring it back. Yeah? Cutting it close there. It's a good thing I play Microsoft Flight Simulator, otherwise that would that could have turned out badly. Alright, let's try this. Bam! Oh, got them both. Perfect! Look at that! Alright, there is a stone here. Right. Raise my sword into the sky, and... <clears throat> Raise my sword into the sky, and there we go. First try, nice. Perfect, okay. Oh, we got a little dude here. Oh, and we got some, some medium-sized dudes here. Let's try, let's check this out. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, you can, you can just hang out down there. You're, you're good down there. Let's talk to this little guy. Hey, man. You're not gonna be like, oh, help, kill the guy before you talk to me. Uh, no, but thankfully not. Uh, you are not in my memory banks, Bert. Uh, this power generator for the mechanism that opens the entrance to the Linnea Remining Facility is a I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it won't budge until you activate the remote power, power nodes and set those three dials to access them correctly. Great, it always happens in threes. Hi, Fee. Um, readings indicate that you're stuck. Uh, it, uh, the materials used to construct the generator are also present in this area. Well, that's good. Uh, you can use your dowsing ability to locate them. I can douse for generators. It's not something I knew I could do, but here we are. Okay, we are currently 
on generator mode. Okay, hold on. Okay. So the thing I need to fix is right here in front of me. There appears to be something in this direction. Something that direction. And something way over there somewhere. Great. All right. Let's, let's go this way first. We've got to find three things. Fun stuff. I might... Maybe I'll do a little cut here and save you guys some time. Oh, oh, Jesus, a tumble. Okay, I've located this. Is this the right? I'm thinking it's something. This is something. I found a hole in the wall. Just gonna throw a bomb there and see how that turns out. Let me grab a bomb from here to replenish my inventory. All right. Like any good archaeologist, I've just blown a hole in the side of this mountain and uncovered a tomb of some kind. I think that's how they do it. I'm not an archaeologist. Archaeologist. God, I can't even pronounce it. I'm obviously not that because I can't even pronounce the profession. Um, but if I was, this is how I would do it. I would get a bomb, blow up the front door, and then use that same method until it didn't work anymore. And then I'd have to get bigger bombs and try again. Uh, I think that's the way to do it. Okay, we got some dudes in here. We got some mounds of sand that are just hanging out. Can I break these barrels? I can. Look at that. Any hearts in these barrels? I would like a heart, perhaps. Not a single rupee. Oh, more bombs. That's... That's nice. I got ten bombs. Throw them or roll them to blow things up. That's gonna be my second single on my album. After Sink Sand is gonna be Throw Them or Roll Them. You know? <laughs> Another hardcore punk song. Man, I, I'm writing an album just in one episode. Look at this. No hearts yet. I really would have liked a heart, but uh, no, just more bombs. Okay, hold on. Let me let me throw one of these or roll one of these bombs. Hold on, let me just do a roll. There we go. Oh, he's he's walked away. Clever, clever little crab. You you've outsmarted me this day. Oh, there we go. That's on the money. No, the money. Oh, oh, good. He's he's dead. Okay. Oh, and the bombs are gone. Okay. I was going to pick those up. I don't think this was correct. Let me... Okay. Whew. Get back up here. Oh, there is a heart there, too. Okay. Run, run, run. Before this shell disappears. Because it's going to. In a minute here. There it goes. It's disappearing. Run, run, run. Nice. Okay. Dig that up. More hearts. Thank you for putting it in the sand. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. I got a bomb. Let's, let's put the bomb... There. Oh, can I? I can keep digging. Oh, there's more hearts. Look at that. Once again, it's in the sand. All right, come on. There we go. All right, we're gonna do a little strike here and hope I don't miss because that'd be embarrassing from this distance. Oh, the whole room must come alive. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I, I'm not sure what to do with that. I do know what to do with these guys down here. Um, got a pretty good idea of that. There's a door. There's some kind of contraption over there. This is a bewildering maze. I don't know if I could find my way in and out of this one. But, uh, YOLO, as the kids say, you know? I don't think the kids have said that for quite some time. I think that's... I was like... That was a good joke ten years ago, but... I don't know anymore. I, am I out of touch? No. No, I don't think so. I'm still just as cool as I was 10 years ago, right? Right? Please, somebody in the comments say I'm, I'm right, please. I, I <laughs> could really use it. I got a blue rupee, five, five bucks. I got 275 now. Nice. All right, there's a little ball here. Don't know what to, what to do with it. I can hit it. It seems to be staying put for now. Let's get rid of you. Okay, let's get rid of that. Nice. All right, do I pick up the ball? It, ow. No, I do not. No, it does not like that. Maybe I can hit the ball into this platform? No, I don't think so. Okay, let me get the hard ball here. Alright. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Fee. What do you have to say about this guy? A report, Master Big Hell. My analysis indicates that you can restore this device to an opera operatable state by inserting the source of energy, like that little ball in front of you. Yes, okay, I've gathered that much, but it's the picking up part that I'm having trouble with. Let me see if I, can I do it with this guy? I can, look at that. 
I just need to turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit closer. Alright, that's how it goes. Yeah? Let me know if I got that wrong. Jeez! Get in there! Feisty little guy. Alright. Alright, we've powered the door. I don't know about you, but this, this contraption here does not seem up to OSHA safety standards. Just giant electric beams of power just out in the open. I don't know, someone's gonna, someone's gonna get a toothache or something from that. Ah, you're trying to figure out how to configure the device to get into the neighbor mining facility. Well, I am here to stop you. Prepare to die. <laughs> you look kind of suspicious. I probably shouldn't be telling you how to access the remote power nodes to enter the facility. Probably not, honestly. Um, and don't let me catch you stabbing or fiddling with this device. Don't stab it. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna stab these barrels, though, in the hopes that I can get something good out of them. Okay, a little money. All right, I'll take a little money. I'll always take a little money. Bang. Maybe I should set up, like, a Patreon. Get a little money. I, <laughs> I No. No one's gonna donate to a Patreon. Not for this. Not until they figure out the clue of how all of my series are connected. Then, after... Oh, this is kind of clever. I like this. Huh? 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 What am I... What am I doing? Push in? Okay. Look at that little guy in the corner. He's like, no! Don't do it! <laughs> do it exactly what I told you not to! Okay, we got a, an electricity bolt. That was one. That was one out of the, the three I need. Yikes, okay, well. Guess we'll, we'll go do those then. We'll do them real quick. All right, I think I found another one. I found the door to another one. I'm down here now. I was up here, and I kind of walked down here. Got it, clear, clear as mud. That's, that's not my mom would always say, clear as mud, and I never really got it until I got older that she was she was making a joke because mud isn't clear, um, but she never explained that. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't a very bright, I wasn't a very bright kid, as you can tell. Um, but you know, that's you know, thank my mom for that one. Clear as mud, and she would also say things like, "If the light was any greener, it would grow," referencing a green light at a traffic stop. Still don't quite understand that one. I guess green things grow. I, that makes sense, I suppose. Okay, now I'm now I'm starting to understand that one. Do you, do you ever say that, or have you ever said that, or heard anybody ever say the phrase "If it was any greener, it would grow" when referencing a green light? Like you're at a traffic stop, and the red light has been on. It just turned green, but the person in front of you isn't going because they don't realize that it's turned green. So then your mom pulls out the very funny saying, "If it was any greener, it would grow," um, and everybody laughs. Ow! Jeez! Wow! <laughs> All right, maybe I need to I need to focus on the game here. I thought incorrectly, as I now can tell, I thought this little lip here would stop him from rolling, but nothing stops this dude from rolling. Oh my God, here he comes again! Oh Lord, gee, <laughs> he is wrecking my day! Wow. Oh jeez, I can't can't even get away. Okay, let's hurry. Run, 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 Rudolph. Santa's gonna make it to town if Santa is an angry circular crab. Oh boy, Santa pissed off. Okay. Alright, I need I need a bomb. I have bombs. Look at that. I need to blow up something that helps me here. You are not helping me. You are not sparking joy, or though you are sparking other things. Let's hope that that does the trick. Yep. Please don't move. Please don't move. Please. Gosh! Oh, dang, that was the same timing. Uh, okay, here we go again. Now you're mine. <laughs> Bam! There you go. All right. Don't have to worry about him for a second. Get up! Jeez. Sorry. Sorry I yelled big L. I'm just a little frustrated that everybody on the internet's making fun of me right now. Um, I hope you can understand. Oh, dang it. There's nothing on that one, too. I was hoping for the one of those time stones. Whatever you call them. Maybe it's in that middle one. I guess it- Oh, dang it! He's back. That's not good. That is not good, because he's about to see me. 
Uh, ow. Oh, he got it. Oh my, is he right here? That's not cool. Not cool. Not Oh, jeez. You can't spawn me right next to the guy. Wow, okay, let's hurry over here. Okay, and before he respawns, let's blow this up and hope to everything that's holy. I think I missed. I did, although I did kill that guy, which is a unintended effect, but I'll take it. Okay, does this thing have it does have the stone I'm looking for. Nice. Okay. Now let's hurry over here and activate it before those things come and roll over me like Limp Biscuit. Jeez. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Okay. All right. Now let's figure out the puzzle. I think I finally cracked the code here. <clears throat> I needed to kill one of those crabs and ride its shell all the way over here. Nice, okay. Oof, that took a while. That took longer than I care to admit. You know what? We're, we're not going to admit how long that took. Ow! We're not going to admit that I just tried to stab a thing that was actively, actively electrocuted. Okay. Let's open up this guy and hope that it is a really big band-aid um, to help my pride. Or it's Elden Ore. I guess that's useful too. I don't think I've used it yet but I hear it's good for upgrades and such. Oopsies. All right, let's not launch the bug straight into the treasure chest. That was an oopsie daisy on my part. Let's hit this rock again to turn back time. And now that I've turned back time, I need to... I've done some trial and error with this so far. I need to grab one of these if I can. There we go. And hope that... Oh, never mind. Let's try that again. As I was saying, I need to grab one of these guys and fly it all the way over here, and drop it in this little box, I believe, like last time. I'm gonna have to push it in uh, and not fall down the giant hole. There we go, nice. Any any goodies in here for me? No, not really, I got a, I got a dollar. How about over here? Yeah, no, oh, I got five dollars. Okay. Once that's done, perfect. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I've been saying it all episode long, and eventually it's going to come true. Here we go. All right. Oh, there's some. Let me just see what's in here real quick. Is this a big band aid? It's a monster horn. Okay. Made of sturdy animal bone. You might find a use for this as a material. Okay, all right, I'll take it. Still looking for the big band-aid, looking for the oversized band-aid still. And five rupees, nice. Maybe I could buy a band-aid with that. Um, let's, end it. Let's, let's end this episode with me doing this, hopefully correctly, push in. There we go. Ta-da. Oh, this is like a fire symbol. Oh, the different symbols. Electricity, fire, and water? I, I don't know. That's, it's just a guess. Um, but we're going to have to find out if that guess is correct next time uh, on Drummer Chris 7 through 7 plays <laughs> Skyward Sword. That just rolls off the tongue. Drummer Chris 7. Who named this channel? I think I did. Gosh darn it.